वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में अभी थोड़ी मुलाकात करवा रहे आए हुए साढ़े मेहमान फ्रेजर वैली रेलवे हैरीटेज सुसायटी तो रे हटसन ये उत्तर डायरैक्टर ने तो वो संस्था है जी कि पुरानी रेल कार्स को खरीद के उन्होंने ठीक कर दी है तो उस तो बाद ओपरेट कर दी है मई टू अक्टूबर एक क्लोवरडेल के जो इन्हों हैड ऑफिस है उतों रेल्स में रन भी करते हैं जिथे कि सारे जाके आनंद माण सकते हैं खास तौर पर पाबी में बड़ा लगाव है ट्रेनस के नाल सो आओ आज जानकारी लेने सोसाइटी के वालों की काम किया जा रहा है तो किमें तुम भी इसका हिस्सा बन सकते हो वेलकम टू प्रोग्राम थैंक यू वेरी मच अप्रीत थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम सो यू आर अ डायरेक्टर विद फ्रेजर वैली रेलवे हेरीटेज सोसाइटी वॉट इज द सोसाइटी वैल द सोसाइटी वॉज ऑर्गनाइज अंडर अंडर सम वेरी सिंपल टर्म्स एंड इट्स ऑल अराउंड द बी सी इलेक्ट्रिक रेलवे हिस्ट्री ऑफ द फ्रेजर वैली एंड आर आइडिया वॉज टू रीजूवनेट द रिमेनिंग कार्स दैट एग्जिस्ट and put them back into service on a heritage basis so for for tourism purposes and and for museum type purposes mm -hmm. so our 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 three op objectives were get car fix car run car right get car meant we had there there were some uh Fraser Valley I'm sorry there were some um of the original interurbans available right but they were spread out and around around north america particularly mm -hmm. so we had to go about getting them right then we had to bring them back okay we had to fix them so that they can go back on the rail right and then run them of course mm -hmm. so the first thing happened was that uh, when we went looking there were only there are only seven cars left in the world okay from the uh, fraser valley or i keep saying that from the bc electric railway right which was the the railway that really opened up the Fraser Valley mm -hmm. in in 1910 they moved across the river they were running from 1891 in Vancouver okay. street cars and interurbans right uh, around to New Westminster and down to Steveston and Marpole and all that mm -hmm. when the railway bridge was built across the Fraser River that gave more scope to it right. and BC Electric built a rail line to Chilliwack mm -hmm. in 1910 okay <clears throat> and they opened the line and then they started running a passenger and freight service back and forth to there as well right from a total of over 400 street cars and interurban cars mm -hmm. about 80 interurban cars they ran a service until the 50s okay after that in 1950 they shut down the passenger service on the on the Fraser Valley line right and they shut down passenger service in Vancouver in 1958 Okay. With those cars that were remaining, a few were sold to museums mm -hmm. and trolley museums that sort of thing. But most were taken to the uh Kitsilano yards. Okay. Stripped of all the metal and burned. Mhm. Mm so there are only 7 left in the world. Wow. We are now the owners of 4 of those 7 that are left. Oh, wonderful. Of that, one is in the Burnaby Heritage Museum. Right. And it's on permanent display. It's it was only restored so that it could uh, be on display. Mm -hmm. The uh Richmond uh Steveston group have one interurban mm -hmm. and it is on display although they're they're trying to uh rejuvenate it so that it could run. Right. They don't have any track to run on. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially on permanent display. Okay. The third one is in the Transportation Museum in Ottawa mm -hmm. and from my understanding it's stuffed in the back just because they want to keep one of them. Right. They're not going to re they're not going to restore it. Okay. So We know where it is if we want to go and get it, I suppose. <laughs> But so we have four now, right? <clears throat> and we have just received the fourth car. So you are the pioneers who have been uh, acquiring it and then operating it also. Well, that's right. Um, we first received the, the. We got our first car back from from a museum in California, Paris, California. Okay. And that was car number twelve twenty five. It was built in nineteen twelve. in the St. Louis car factory in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. It was part of an order mm -hmm. of cars that went to an Oregon transportation system. When they arrived out here, mm -hmm. Oregon decided they didn't want them. <clears throat> so BC Electric stood up and said, "We'll take them." Right. And so 1225 was one of those cars. Okay. So then it was brought north and they had to fit them out then to run up here. Mm -hmm. We received that car from 
California in 2005. Okay. And we went to work stripping it down mm -hmm. because it was in pretty rough shape. Right. And rebuilding it. Mm -hmm. 20,000 volunteer hours later, we put the car on the rail and it ran. Wow. We rejuvenated the engines, did the interior mm -hmm. structure so that it's, it meets all the standards of today. Right. We have been running that car since 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, and our, out of our operation in Cloverdale that you described when we were just starting, right. starting the program. Um, subsequent to that, a couple of years later, we heard that there was a second car, and this was a very important car, mm -hmm. was available in a museum in Oregon. Okay. This car was car 1304. Now the 1300 series were a special series of cars that were built locally. They were built in New Westminster shops mm -hmm. and they were bigger than the 1200 series okay. because they were intended to run from Vancouver to Chilliwack. Right. The 1200 series didn't run out there. They were lighter cars. Mm -hmm. But the 1300 series were bigger cars. They had washrooms right. and, and, um, and they, it was a three hour trip. So mm -hmm. it was important that they be bigger. So uh, they built a, a series of 300 cars and 1700 cars um, so that they would have a freight car and a passenger car to run out, and they would go out to Chilliwack, start out in Chilliwack in the morning, mm -hmm. come back, pick up the milk that was put out by the dairy farmers okay. and produce and bring it into Vancouver, okay. and then turn it around and take the, the milk cans back. They'd fill that with potable water, mm -hmm. and they would take, take the freight and the mail and people back and forth. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. That, that 1300 car, however, right. is very important because that one car, and that's the only 1300 series car that remains. Mm -hmm. uh, that was used by the Governor General of Canada, okay. who was the third son of Queen Victoria. His mm -hmm. name is Prince Arthur. Okay. He was our Governor General in 1912. Okay. He was here mm -hmm. and he conducted a tour of the Lower Mainland. Right. That was the car that was given to him to use. So it was all dressed up in, in, <laughs> in a beautiful green color, which was the color of the BC electric cars at that time. Right. As you know, they're now red. Right. But at that time, they were kind of an emerald green. Mm -hmm. The interior was taken out and put in with velour dr dr uh, drapes, uh, couches, okay. so, you know, fit for royalty. Right. right. And they used that for one day, mm -hmm. and then they returned it to service. They oh, had to okay. take it all out again. Right. The important thing is, though, that this year, Canada's 150th birthday, mm -hmm. we will put car 1304 fully, fully restored back on the tracks on September 9th. We are anticipating the Lieutenant Governor will be here for that, mm -hmm. that the Connaught's own rifles band, their pipe band, we're right. anticipating that it will be here. So it's going to be a big celebration. Well, that's great. Uh, it's time for a short break. We'll come back and learn more about your society as to what all it is doing. As you very oh. rightly said, you, you've been acquiring those old uh, uh, cars, which were yes, just vintage and, and, we and we have in the museums. Yeah. And now you have two which are operating. That's great. We'll come after this short break. To see Sean Beck Crystal Chandeliers Buckingham Palace, White House, and the Uch Koti de Karavich Vekoge. Sean Beck Chandeliers Crystal de Manmohokta Nupesh Kardehan. To see Apne Karle Isnu Chunarto Kunjra Nahi. The Lighting Warehouse Canada with Sean Beck Chandeliers da Sapto Vada Showroom hai. West Coast de Sapto Uttam Lighting Showroom Arts Awards da Vijeta. The Lighting Warehouse 12420 Bridgeport Road, Richmond. Once again, welcome back to the program. Today's segment is my Sadhana Ray Hudson, who is the Fraser Valley Railway Heritage Society. He has been buying a lot of old cars and buying a lot of cars and operating it. And he has been buying a lot of cars. So before the break, you mentioned the history of the society, how you right. have been acquiring these uh, old trains and uh, you have been operating them. So now uh, the question is that uh, this society, when you acquire something, where does the money come from? You get financial support from the government, how all these funds are raised and like people, especially the Indo-Canadians, are very much attracted to the trains because they are, uh, you know, having a great, uh, a great tradition, history, yes, a custom right. of yeah. uh, being associated with the trains from India. That's right. So tell us a little bit about the society. If anybody wants to be a part of it, what all you do, how can one become a part of this? Okay, well, where do we start? First of all, you asked me about, about the funding for the cars. Yeah. It was a project of the city of Surrey. Right. It actually was, was commissioned in about 1996 mm -hmm. when they started looking at the study of finding the cars, bringing them back. Right. Um, 
that went ahead and it's subsequently gone ahead with some funding from the city. Mm -hmm. They're great partners. We have also partnered with Surrey um, Rail Link, which mm -hmm. is SRY Rail Link, um, Southern, uh, Southern Rail of BC. Right. And BC Hydro, which still owns the right of way. Okay. Southern Rail owns the track and okay. the railroad. Mm -hmm. So come it all, bring it all together, and we are in partnership. Right. Um, the city of Surrey has provided considerable funding to get us to where we're at. Mm -hmm. We have gone out and raised between volunteer hours and actually raising money and, and uh, services in kind right. an equal amount to what mm -hmm. the city has put in. And that's how we've, that's how we've, we've built it. We are right. not solely dependent on just the city. Right. But we come, we bring stuff to the table too, so to right. speak. Now, how, what we're about is, again, we have those two cars and it was important to establish the history of it. Absolutely. We are a registered museum. Okay. And so that has a, has a, a lot of weight in terms of how we restore the cars. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that just so that people can have a ride. Right. They're, we're actually being historically accurate with them. Mm -hmm. And we have acquired two more cars. So we now have four cars. Right. Two of those cars came from the Downtown Heritage Railway Society, mm -hmm. which ran between Granville Island and, um, and uh, Science World. Okay. Now that was shut down by the city of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And the people that owned those cars have subsequently donated them to us because, they w because we run cars. Right. And that's, so they're in very good shape. So mm -hmm. we will, with some short, uh, restoration, we will have them back on the tracks before right. too long as well. Uh, when you say, uh, Ray, that you operate uh, these uh, cars, so from Cloverdale uh, on Saturday and Sunday, 10.30 a.m. onwards, so you mean to yes. say anybody can come and take a ride on those cars? Yes. Starting at 10 o'clock, that's our first train. Okay. The, the station opens at 9.30. Mm -hmm. You come in, you buy your tickets, and then there are five trains through the day. Right. The last train is at 3 o'clock. And the trip that we take them on, it's an excursion. We go from Cloverdale to Sullivan Station, which is 152 and 64th. Okay. It's not a long distance, but we go at about 15 miles an hour. Right. And so the round trip takes about uh, almost an hour, 50, 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. But you also go through part of, the, part of Surrey that you don't see from the roads. Right. Because we cut across country right by the Serpentine River. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really enjoyable trip. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, it's 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 very worthwhile very photogenic they're pretty cars they photograph well well of course we are very fascinated by the vintage cars so of course these vintage uh, uh, you know inter cars what you're talking about must yes. be really fascinating so now because you're reaching to the public we are celebrating the 150th uh, anniversary of canada's independence right. and so there's a lot of uh, celebrations going on and as you said on september the 9th you're bringing in the 1304 which was used by the governor general of that time Yes. Uh, how can the common public be a part of this society? Can well, one anybody, become a member? Anybody can become a member, okay. and, and I think the uh, fee is $20. Right. So it's not big. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it small. So anybody can join. You just come over to the station or go onto our website, mm -hmm. fvhrs.org, okay. and you can join up. The more important thing, though, is, is becoming a part of it. And you can come down and volunteer. You can, you can volunteer as a, a staff person on the uh, station side, mm -hmm. welcoming people, selling tickets, touring people through the museum, right. and all of that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, helping people get on the car when we're loading it to go. Right. There's the operations side. Those are the people that to drive the cars, mm -hmm. that are conductors, passenger attendants, right. that drive our speeder, which we have a speeder ride for, for everybody. Okay. We have another thing called a Velocity, Velocipede, which <laughs> you can ride. Right. And we have a tour, a historical tour of the, of the car barns where you see all the restoration going on. You can become a part of that group. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you can become part of the restoration group. So if you can scrape paint or if you can put paint on, right. if you can do mechanics, mm -hmm. if you can do electrical, we love to have people come down and join the restoration crew. Right. As I said, we operate from May to October right. in terms of running the cars, but the car barn is in operation all year round with the restoration. Okay. They work from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays mm -hmm. every week. So right. there's something for anybody can come down if you don't know what it is, if you don't know what to do, we'll teach you. Wonderful. And where can someone contact you? Is there any phone number or just the website which should be used? The website is probably the best one. Right. And, um, and of course, now that we're running on weekends, mm -hmm. come down to the station. We'll give you a tour. 
you can come in and kick the tires. Oh, don't kick them too hard. They're, they're, <laughs> they're made of steel and they'll right. hurt your toes. Great. But you can come down and, and we would welcome anybody to come and be part. And we'd certainly love to have people from, from the Punjabi community come and join us mm -hmm. because, of, because of the historical connection Absolutely. to railways. Absolutely. And of course, we can see those uh, beautiful hats and those uh, wonderful people, smiling faces over there. You like my hat, do you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much and best wishes. Thank you very much, Arpa. Thank you. So, Joa, as we talked about it, Ray Hudson has told us that these cars are going on in Cloverdale, which you can see, there is a whole museum that is completely opposite. BC, which is a society, you can see the trains in the museum, and you can see the ride in the museum. So, they have said that the trains are very close to the Punjabi. We can see that there is a very long history in the past. We can see that there is a very long history in the past. We can see that there is a very long history in the past. You can go there and work as a volunteer, you can buy a train or tickets, or you can give a guide to the museum, you can give a guide to the museum, or you can give a painter or any other technical knowledge, you can give a train to the museum, you can give a guide to the museum. You can give all the information on the screen, and on Saturday and Sunday, you can give a ride to the museum.